In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to um, add a date to a recording that we don't have dated yet. So let's just go to the archive um, link on the left side of the screen here. And right now we're at 2005 449A. You can see this one has already been assigned a date because down here it says that it's 2005, September 1st at 6.05 a.m. But for a lot of the recordings, like say, let's go to like say 2005 550A. This one doesn't have a date associated with it. So it's 1923-0101 is what it defaults to. So we're going to want to change um, the j date of the recording by using this start time here. But in order to find out what that start time is, we have to find the lab book page um, that has the this recording on it and find out what the date was. And that's a bit of a process. And eventually we want to come up with a better way to do this. But right now this is kind of what I have. And I'd love to have any more feedback for how we can do this better. So we're looking for 2005 550A. So let's add a lab book page. So we'll scroll down on this side of the screen until we see 2005. And just from kind of experience, I know that 550A um, um, is going to be probably somewhere in September, um, maybe September 9th, September 13th. So let's just click on this link, September 9th, September 13th, 05. From here, we'll get a whole list of all the lab book pages that belong to um, this lab book. And let's click on this first one, just kind of give us a fe uh, feeling of where we are. <clears throat> So we just look down on this page and um, look at the lab book pages. And right now we see it's tape 2005, tape 536A. So that was a pretty good guess. We're pretty close. Uh, to jump ahead to other lab book pages, we can use these arrows. So this little double arrow means go ahead one page, five pages, 10 pages, and 20 pages. So maybe it's like 10 pages ahead. Let's just jump ahead 10 pages and see where that gets us. If you ever forget where you are, what, what recording you're looking for, uh, look up here at the top and it says we're looking for recording 2005-550A. That just kind of helps us. So now we look on this lab book page and try to find, so I see 541A, so let's jump ahead another 10. And now this is 545B, so let's jump ahead another 10 lab book pages. And now this is 550B, so we're very close. We're looking for 550A, so let's just go back one page. And now we see 550A. So once we found this lab book page, we can click on Add Lab Book Page to Recording. This will take us back to that page here. And as we can, if we scroll down, we can see that now this lab book page has been added to the recording. So our original goal was we wanted to set this start time. So we'll just scroll down and scroll over until we see the 550A. And we can see 550A, I guess, was originally started at 2.08 a.m., but then they rewinded the tape and it started at 5.27. So let's set it to 5.27. So 2005, September, to find the date, you go up to the top of September 11th, 05. And it started at 5.27 a.m. And then we click on Submit. And you'll notice after we click Submit, just watch here for where it says 1923. Click on Submit. And now it says 2005, 0911, uh, 5.27 a.m. So that first one is a bit of a pain to kind of find that lab book entry, but the next one is easier. We can click on next here to go to the next recording. So there's previous and next. Next will take us to 550B. Now if we want to um, set the start time, we have to add a lab book page. When we click on add a lab book page, the system helpfully takes us right back to where we were. So we can just zip ahead one page. And try to find there's 550B and add lab book page to recording. So the first one is a bit of a pain to set up, but after that, then it gets a bit easier. So we look down to find where it said 550B, which was, I guess, over here. And that's 
at 614. Another handy thing is that first time you set this, um, all of them are just defaults to the current date. But um, after you've set one, if you go to the very next recording right after that, so if you go from 500A to 500B, it'll take that 500A date and add 47 minutes onto it. So it'll be pretty close. So this is 2005, September 11th, 06, 12, and it should be 14. So we're almost there. It's uh, pretty close. And click on Submit. So let's do this one more time, this whole procedure. So we want to go to the next recording, which will be 551A. We click on Add Lab Book Page. Try to find 551, so that's probably just right on the next page. Just look through this page here to try to find 551. I guess that's on the next page. Five fifty one A. Great. So we'll add lab book page to recording. And again, if you forget where you are or what tape you're looking for, it says we're looking for tape two thousand five five fifty one A. And that's because I have a short memory and it helps. So again, we scroll down till we see 551A, and that was 7.02 a.m., so it guessed pretty close, 6.59. So we just have to change this to 7.02. And then you notice that the time and date has been set properly down here. So that's uh, the current way to assign a date to a lab page. And if you have any better ideas for how I can do this, like we're thinking about um, turning this all into a big spreadsheet and just doing it all one big pass in a big spreadsheet, uh, something like that, just let me know. I'm Stephen Ness, and my email is sness at sness.net. So just let me know if you can think of any other better way to do that.